All right, I am two classes. We're talking about Pythagorean theorem today. Uh, this is one of the most well-known theorems in all of math. Um, it's one of it's probably the most widely proved theorem. Uh, we actually had a U.S. president publish a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Um, probably wouldn't be able to guess, so I'll just tell you is uh, President Garfield published a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and then uh, Pythag Pythagorean theorem named after Pythagoras is uh, Pythagoras. The, the history of Pythagoras is kind of wild. Um, we'll talk about it in class a little bit. Um, but but pretty wild with that guy. If you're interested, you should look it up. We'll talk about it in class. But anyway, the Pythagorean theorem, uh, it's very well known. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It's used to find missing side lengths of a right triangle. Uh, this actually has a lot of practical uses because you can make right triangles um, in the real world and, you know, measure uh, the two legs to find the hypotenuse. Uh, speaking of which, let's talk about the, the, uh, the anatomy of a right triangle. So in the right triangle down here, we have the right angle, all right? The two sides that come together from the right angle, those are the legs, all right? And then the longest side that's across from the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Um, uh, when we label, the first thing you want to do when using the Pythagorean theorem is label the, the sides A, B, and C. Um, the most important part, the most important one is to label the hypotenuse C. Right? The hypotenuse is always C. The longest side is always C. That is what's important to remember. Then the A and B are interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one you use. A and B interchangeable. It's just the longest side has to be C. Right? Remember that. Um, this will be a little bit easier. So moving on, let's uh, put this to work. So we have um, right triangle here. Find the hypotenuse. Uh, first thing I'm going to do Actually, I'm going to write out the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We're going to find the length X here. Here's a right triangle. I'm going to label the sides A, B, and C. So C is always the longest side. Always, always the longest side. The hypotenuse is always C. And then A and B are interchangeable. It does not matter. All right. So I'm going to substitute in these values. Um, so A is 8. B is six, and then C is, we are calling that X. And then let me put in the rest of this stuff. So it's eight squared plus six squared is equal to uh, X squared. Now I'll work this out. Eight squared is 64 plus six squared is 36 is equal to X squared. 64 plus 36 is 100. And then the last step to solving is you take the square root of both sides uh, and you get 10 is equal to X. Normally we say with, when we're dealing with square roots, square root of 100 would be plus or minus 10, uh, but having a negative number in there for X doesn't really make sense because we're dealing with distance. Distance can't be negative. You can't, you can't, yeah, you can't have a negative distance. That just does not make sense. So uh, when we're dealing with Pythagorean theorem, we take the square root, we use the positive one. So uh, the distance of the hypotenuse is 10. Um, we're going to skip ahead. Uh, so here, uh, the, the Pythagorean theorem isn't always used to find just uh, the hypotenuse. Sometimes it's used to find one of the legs. So again, the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Um, first thing I want to do is label the sides a, b, and c. Remember, c is always, so I've been using blue for c. I'm going to stick with that. Uh, c is always the longest side, right? side across from the right angle, this is C. So label C first, find that longest side, label that C, and then the A and B are interchangeable, A and B. Doesn't matter which one's which, as long as you get the hypotenuse is C. So now I'm gonna put this in here. So um, 
A is X, B is nine, C is 41. All right, make sure you put those in the right way. The most common mistake I see with the Pythagorean theorem is when kids are trying to find uh, a side length that is not the hypotenuse, they automatically put in X is C. Make sure you're paying attention. C is always the longest side, not always the side you're trying to find. In this case, it's one of the legs. So you get uh, X squared, uh, nine squared is 81. Uh, 41 squared is uh, 1,681. Uh, and now I just need to solve this equation for um, x. So I'm going to subtract 81 from both sides here. So plus a1 minus a1 cancels out. You get x squared is equal to uh, 1,681 minus 81 is 1,600. And I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And look at that. Uh, that works out nicely. Square root of x squared is x. For 1600 is plus or minus 40. Again, we're dealing with distance. So we just use a positive 40. And we're done. All right. Uh, yeah, that one is the same thing. So we're going to move on. Um, sometimes you're going to have some. Uh, problems that work out that uh, it's not perfect squares. And so what we're going to do with that um, is simplify radicals. So here, uh, again, start off and label the sides A, B, and C. Starting with uh, C is always the longest side across from the right angle. So that one's C. And then A and B are interchangeable. All right, so A is 12, B is 13, C is X. So just put those values in there. So it's 12 squared plus 13 squared is equal to X squared. Uh, 12 squared is 144. 13 squared is 169. X squared is just X squared. 144 plus 169 is 313. Oops. So um, 313 is equal to x squared. And then you take the square root of both sides. Uh, instead of putting this in a calculator and putting it as a decimal, what we're going to do is simplify the radical. Um, this one's going to be a little bit tougher to simplify because we got to find something that divides 313 um, evenly. So if, if we do a buddy system on 313, so 313 uh, doesn't divide by 3, 313 is not divisible by 5. Um, I don't think it's divisible by 11. Nope. Um, I'm just running through uh, Prime numbers here, 313 divided by 13. Nope, not a whole number. 313 divided by 17. Nope, uh, 313 divided by 19. No, I'll just try 313 divided by 23. No, 313 divided by 29. You know what? I don't think we're going to find anything. So I think that's as simplified as it gets. I don't think this is going to have any buddies. So what we do is just leave it as a square root of 313. Simple enough. That's all we do. If, it, if you can do a buddy system on it, um, uh, do that. If you need to review that, go back and check out the video of uh, simplifying radicals. Um, but yeah, we do a buddy system, simplify radicals. But this one does not simplify. Moving on, let's do, um, skip that one. Let's do this one because uh, it has a weird radical here. So uh, first thing we are going to do, we always label the sides A, B, and C. Uh, just important to remember, C is always the longest side. It's across from the right angle. So the hypotenuse is always C. 
And once you identify C, A and B are interchangeable. So A turns into an X. B is the square root of 257. And C is 18. So here, X squared plus, we can put this in parentheses, 257 squared is equal to 18 squared. Um, a lot of kids don't like this. This looks weird to them. And I understand why, but this is actually really simple. The square root and the square just cancel each other out. They're just gone, so you're just left with 257. Square root of 257 squared is 257. Uh, 18 squared is 324. So now I'm going to solve. Um, I'm going to uh, subtract 257 from both sides. You get uh, x squared is equal to uh, 3.4 minus 257 is 67. Uh, square root both sides. Solve, so square root of x squared is just x. Square root of 67. Uh, does 67 have any buddies? Does not divisible by 3, 5, 7, not 11, not 13, uh, no. Um, no, I don't think square root of 67 has any buddies either. So it's just going to be square root of 67. And that's it. We are done. So uh, important when you're doing Pythagorean theorem, uh, make sure you label the sides A, B, and C. Always, always, always start with the longest side labeled as C. Um, and that'll do it for us with this. Next time, more right triangles.